Oh man, all right. I can't believe I'm still in here. This is so depressing. <laughs> oh, I just want to be done. Oh man. Okay, whatever. Just spend everything we've got. Uh. Um. Yeah. So hey, welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Um. Boy. Sure, sure has been uh, one hell of a one hell of a Tartarus time in here, hasn't it? I'm sure that's good enough. Um, on the last one, I don't know. I basically didn't get anything accomplished. That's not necessarily true. I, I I beat up some bosses, but that's about it, really. Oh, and yeah, that that whole thing ended up having to get split into two because uh, I misjudged quite badly. But then the second episode wasn't didn't end up being that long. It was really awesome. I I, I fucking nailed it. I'm so good at this production thing. Uh, on this episode, we're gonna go check out this door, I'd and then... skills have leveled up since spring, but they're still nowhere good enough. Okay, thank you for interrupting me. And then after that, hopefully I'll actually be able to get the hell out of here. But, before I do that, and before I move on to this door, there are some things I wanted to talk about, uh, that had occurred to me since last time. Or not just occurred to me, I did some fucking research. And by research, I mean I read, like, a couple Wikipedia articles, so, you know. Take it with a grain of salt, as you should everything. Let's talk about Igus, shall we? Igus. Uh, the name is uh, Corruption of Aegis, which is a protective garment that technically belongs to Zeus, but is primarily associated with Athena in Greek mythology. Uh, so a lot and a lot of our stuff, like we also saw Palladian, which is apparently a statue of Athena, and that's so she's very themed around Athena. She's a theme. Uh, uh, fuck, fuck that. That was terrible. I hate that. Anyway, that's all well and good, and especially uh, in regards to her name being a protective piece of equipment, as it were. That's pretty on the nose in terms of a lot of how her character is portrayed and a lot of what the, the sort of themes around her are concerned, both in terms of how she's statted, like, uh, mechanically, but also to do with her story and character development stuff. Then we come to Orgia mode. Something that's always confused me, because I, I, I don't know what the fuck it was. It certainly, uh, the word itself is reminiscent of Orgy, uh, which, you know, Seems like it shouldn't be relevant to whatever the fuck this is actually supposed to be a reference to, but I did look it up, and yeah, uh, Orgia or Orgion, uh, Orgy being the plural. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the only reference point that I could find. Now, in the original context, Orgion was, as Wikipedia puts it, an ecstatic worship, uh, particularly associated with the Dionysian and Sibelian cults. Basically, they they got pretty rowdy from what I can tell, but they weren't specifically sexual in nature. Uh, and that association came about much later with uh, uh, stuff to do with like Roman Senate. What did they say? Uh, prurient speculation, quote unquote, I believe was uh, was what they said. So uh, the the modern association of of you know orgy being basically you know sex parties or whatever. Uh, comes more from that later interpretation than it seems what the original uh, use of the word is. As far as it applies to this game, though, I think the concept was simply uh, along a similar line to what they've done with Theurgy uh, in this newer release, is the idea of it being uh, sort of a divine um, influence. Or, uh, that's not really... Um, part of the, the sort of, I guess, the concept of the Orgeon was to uh, approach divinity and reach sort of a, a synthesis with, with the god that you were, you know, worshipping. Uh, which is a similar to how they explain theurgy being used in this case as well. So I think that was probably the intent there. Uh, it's still kind of a weird choice, I'm not really sure. I don't know, maybe something got lost in translation there, but... Uh, that seems to be where that comes from. It's a bit strange as well, since 
uh, I guess is so, you know, Athena focused for those other things to be, you know, a bit not specifically associated with Athena, the, the Orgeon stuff, of, like different deities. And in the case of uh, the Sibylle stuff, uh, in the Orgeon, apparently the priests of Sibylle were castrated, so that would probably pretty much make it the opposite of a sex party, if anything. That's enough mythology history lesson, I guess, on that front. The other thing I wanted to mention about the Orgia, Orgia, they call it Orgia in this game, I'm just gonna try to be consistent with that. I think the, I'm not really sure how it's actually pronounced with the, the Greek, it could be either. Uh, but the other thing is, yeah, her visual design, the sort of, she gets this kind of like butterfly-ish thing going on with the like the particles shooting out, they form these sort of wings. I don't know, butterfly is what I kept thinking, and butterfly, I guess I haven't specifically talked about it, but it is a frequently recurring piece of iconography throughout, specifically the Persona series. In particular, it's featured quite prominently in the intro for Persona 1, like I dreamed I was a butterfly thing. Uh, it's very closely associated with Philemon, who is like a, you know, primary character within the first few games in the series. Uh, and it's still seen throughout 3, 4, and 5, even though it's... Uh, its role is significantly diminished from that point on, but they, they still maintain it to some extent. Uh, it, it's... it's more to do with the, like, concept of self and the whole, like, the idea of persona as a metaphysical sort of thing, right? Uh, and additionally, in Igus's case, uh, I mean, we're not, <laughs> we're not gonna get this tidbit until much later, but I guess it's relevant. Uh, her AI core, the thing that her personality is stored in, I suppose, is called the Papillon Heart, and uh, Papillon is French for butterfly. So, there, that, I, I guess that's where they're pulling that from, but like, uh, and, because I always felt that that particular detail was just supposed to be more like, okay, we're pulling in, like, you know, broader Persona series reference stuff. But that definitely solidifies that, uh, for Igis specifically, more as, like, a theme or, like, something that she's drawing from specifically is, like, giving, like, visually uh, giving her that appearance. But, like, it seems strange, I have to be honest. I don't know specifically like beyond why I pointed out why why that was chosen as a thing. Yeah, not not really sure what to make of it. Uh I guess that pretty much gets us caught up. Well, we can touch more on it later when once we see more from her, but uh I figured I might as well try to get that out of the way while well, it was fresh. It seems like it won't open. Do you see anything that I'm missing? A major arcana card I have on me is reacting. Oh Wait, the door's glowing, but why all of a sudden? Did you do something, Leader? Um, okay, now we have to say something that uh, is gonna make us sound crazy, and we don't have uh, <laughs> we don't have an option. The tarot card what? reacted. A tarot card you have is reacting to the door? Maybe that card acts like a key for this door. Interesting. This door certainly works differently from the other ones we've seen. The Monad Passage is a type of Monad door leading to the depths of Tartarus. There's only one Monad Passage per block. Each opens in response to a major arcana. So is it like the key item version of the major arcana, so you have to defeat the boss that's relevant for it, or is it, do you have to like run around Tartarus like a dickhead to, in, in, and get the shuffle time uh, for it in order to be able to open this? I don't know. A formidable shadow resides in the innermost area, and beyond it lies a treasure chest holding a valuable item. Wow. Uh, it will remain permanently on the same floor, in the same location, even after the turn of a new day. If you feel outmatched, consider revisiting after training some. Alright, well... It didn't even tell me which major arcana it was. Maybe you just have to have one, and it doesn't matter which one, so that is the shuffle time thing? I don't know. I don't know. I wish they'd make it a bit clearer. I don't sense any danger in your immediate vicinity. However, there might be a strong enemy further in, just like with the other doors. If you feel like you're in danger, please leave quickly. Eh, we're fine. 
That's a long flight of stairs down. It leads deeper into the depths of Tartarus compared to the other doors. It's almost like it's luring us to go all the way in. It's a little disturbing. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. Um, which way am I going? This way. Not navigating without a map, especially in the the Yabasha area, kind of sucks. <laughs> it's kind of. What was the point of that whole walk down? There's nothing there. Okay, whatever. Yet another door. Even inside the first door, it feels like a very long pathway. It's a layout I've never seen before. Please be careful as you go on. I guess I maybe should talk about this briefly, but... The Monad block? I'm pretty sure this is the case. You're in a deeper part of the passage now. The passage is separated by doors and goes even deeper. Please be careful. Uh, the Monad block in... Um, in Persona 3 was like a secret block that you would unlock after uh, doing some bullshit. Um, it was sort of like more post-game-ish, but you could technically unlock it on your first playthrough. Uh, and it would it was the only feasible way to really grind up to the level cap in order to get access to like the late game personas. It was mostly there in order to be able to prep you for the super boss, but you could use it to make the regular final boss a lot easier. I guess I have to assume that because these Monad doors and passages and stuff are here in this game, that the block itself is probably gone. Which is fine. I am a little curious as to how the end game's actually going to look in that case, but. Um. I sense a shadow up ahead. Doesn't seem like a very strong opponent to me. All we have to do is beat this guy to move on. It seems rather weak for a shadow inside one of these doors. I have a bad feeling about this. Please be fully prepared if you plan to battle it. Yeah, it's probably gonna be like... Powerful enemy spotted. Please be careful. I don't know, like, super buff... Super oh, buff yeah. basic bit shadow. There's one enemy. I'm still setting up. Cowardly Maya. I mean, it has the same name as, like, the, the basic shit enemy. It's a lot larger, I guess, like, physically, but... I don't know, whatever. Concentrate. Oh. Uh... Don't like that. Concentrate doubles, or whatever. Gives it, like, a 2.5 times modifier to its next magic attack. Hmm. No, I'd say the odds of it, there anything landing a, like a... It's not going to be weak to anything, I doubt. I, I really doubt that it will be, so let's just, I don't know, try to do what damage we can. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try... Poisoning it or something. Miss. Interesting. Megiddo! Uh oh. <laughs> uh, fuck. God damn it. Okay, that's gonna be one of these fights, huh? You dickhead. Ugh. Well... Oh god, I just got Akihiko up! You son of a bitch. Marakunda, that's not good. Man... Uh. Oh right, because I had the... yeah, that's true. It was just for her. Maybe that wasn't the most worth it. Okay, please do not do that again. It probably has access to like whatever elemental types it wants. Ugh. No, come on! You're doing it on purpose now. That's bullshit. And then he fucking Marakundas again. Man. This is. This is rough. I think I have to do this actually. Man, fuck. Back 
think I'm gonna need to cadenza probably because the healing efficiency is not that good. I don't know. Might as well try stuff, but yeah. Wow. It seems like it's specifically targeting our weaknesses, which is... It's fucking bullshit. It's a dick move. Fuck this guy. Uh, maybe... Well, I can have... Uh, no, he just went. Okay, sure. We need to be pretty careful about our hit points here, so... High roll Tarn Shot? That'd be nice. Two hits? Meh. Maybe? I mean, the poison missed, so that would imply it can be poisoned. Okay, we're in there. Oh, that's pretty bad. Alright, the damage wasn't too bad. Ugh, oh, really wish it would stop doing that. Well, that's fine. We've got the Dakunda, so we can... We can manage that, and the poison the poison should make pretty short work of it. Uh, so maybe we'll just focus on not dying. Let the poison do its thing. The poison poison's been been really solid in the cases where it works. Uh, it's been been putting in a lot of work. Maybe we're just blocking. Fuck this. <laughs> it's time to just cower it out. Oh god, okay. Well. Yep, okay. This is what we're doing. Just block. Megiddo, it's Tarunda. Yeah, yeah, that's no, that's no big deal. And now it might just be within kill range, so... Uh, I think I, I'm just gonna spend with the energy here, fuck it. Fuck it! No problem. No problem. We're never in any danger. This is just easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was complaining about not having enough. Wait, you get shuffle time on these fights? But that's like a... It's probably a lot of experience if you... Ah, fuck it. Better. I was complaining about this, so let's... You know... Ah, it probably wasn't that much, anyway. Shadow eliminated. Good work. That fight was tougher than I thought it'd be. Maybe the enemy tried to pull one over on us by pre pretending to be weak. Not that dirty tricks like that would work. There's still more up ahead. Let's keep moving. Um, there might be a treasure chest up ahead, but I sense an enemy presence there too. If you're worn out from battling, don't push yourself too hard. Take some time to recuperate. No, no, it's fine. We're good. Understood. I'll continue to provide support. If it gets dangerous, don't hesitate to retreat. Uh, wait, I don't see an enemy here, but... Looks can be deceiving, certainly. I was gonna say, like, yeah, it looks like I'm kinda out of, uh, basic medicines, but that's alright. I guess burned through a lot of SP in that fight. That's also alright. We'll be fine, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you can grab these chests, but... Ooh, ice Saber. Okay. Memoir 02. Even shadows have unique traits. The more hostile ones display great strength, but can't be controlled in our current facility. We developed the Cathedral of Time to avoid disposal of such unique specimens. Ah! <laughs> what do you mean the Cathedral of Time? That's... What the fuck? Sounds Cathedral of Shadows, -ish. I mean, that's like Megaten stuff, but... Also sounds, you know, Temple of Time-ish, but like, uh... Is this something that's, like, referencing something from the answer that I just don't know it because I haven't played that? Or is this just new? I don't know. 
Why did I get memory two? Where's the first one? Oh, whatever. Gekakon jersey. I assume that's like a costume then, huh? Uh, only for main character. Freeze boost. Neat. Let's keep it going. Uh, it's a wild drive type. Uh, well, don't think there's anything in particular I need to do to prepare here, so. Enemy yeah. This is fine, right? Leader. Okay, there's a little more going on than that. Rampage drive? Okay. Uh, I don't have any info on them. Hmm. Good lightning. So try on that. I don't know. Maybe see if I can use ice. Uh, I should go Mabu food just to make sure. See if anything comes up. Oh, that resists that. Interesting. Tetracarn on the mage. Okay. This I assume. No, maybe. Hmm. Maybe they're not... Not that kind of fight. Did I get frozen? Dude, fuck. That is not good. I'm getting a distinct, these enemies don't have elemental weaknesses kind of feeling. Oh. I know he was downed, but like, shit. That's not good. Mm, don't have a lot of these. I haven't really learned much here. Makarakarn. Ugh, this thing's a pain in the ass. This has got to have a weakness of some kind, doesn't it? If it's being this annoying. Strike. Huh. Ooh, charmed. Um... Yeah, I kind of do want to get the... Sorry. I don't have it in me to scan right now. Yeah, Fuka's just out of SP. Whatever. Break that Tetracarn. Okay. That's bad. Oh, fuck. God damn. God damn. Not weak to that. Okay. Fucking hell. Uh, I don't even know really what I should be doing here. Hmm. Okay, it's probably... This is probably just like resistant to magic. And then neutral to physical, and this is going to be the inverse, which is why it used Tetracon and Makarakon the way that it did. Still don't really know where that leaves me. Whatever, I have a bunch of these, so I might as well... I'll use the saute. <laughs> Nice dodge. Hmm. Boy, that is a disappointing amount of damage right there. I guess just fucking died. Oh god. I 
know that that's really the RG is really going to be helpful here. Man, I feel like I'm barely hanging on here. I kind of feel like I want to start over, especially when shit like that happens. <laughs> God damn it! I suspected these other enemies are probably not uh, vulnerable to statuses. That would help a lot if they were, but... Oh, fuck. Okay, alright. Karakarn reflects <laughs> statuses? Since fucking when? What the hell? Oh wow, I got the charm again. Wow, I I'm kind of surprised we barely managed to hang on the way we have here. God, freeze again. Fuck me. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think that's about it. I think I'm ready to ready to give up on this one. Yep. Uh, can I, is this gonna be doable with the squad I have here, or is it gonna be like, not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Ugh, let me think. Poison didn't seem to work. It's possible that Rampage Drive could be poisoned, but I doubt it. Charm did work on at least one of them, though. Maybe I should just focus on doing this. At least keeps it out of my hair, you know? Whatever. Just go right into it, I suppose. Did he have this? He didn't have the that on turn one before, did he? I don't remember that. Or maybe he just died before he got to use it. Wow. That was a sick dodge from Akihiko there. Fucking god! What the hell, man? <laughs> like, what? Uh, I'm actually getting kind of low on these revival beads, aren't I? Oy, oy, oy. Uh, fuck. Hmm.
Why can't you give us, like, a Tetracon or Makarakon, huh? You're just gonna slap him uselessly over and over? God forbid you should do something actually helpful. I think I want to knock it down with Igus's Swift Strike instead of with the punch here, so... Maybe I should just turn into this, because, like, God. It's a lot of damage, man. Heart shots. That's fine. That's good. Was a nice dodge. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we don't want to lose any more HP. Ow. Maybe I should pass... I'm a bit low on HP, so... That honestly didn't give me as much hit points. Didn't give me as many uh, HP back as I would have liked. Oh, she also has Nidia, but she does a better magic stat. I guess I should have been doing that. I don't think it makes a huge difference, but... Really? Every time? You're not even attacking me one that's like, it would be good against? God. Maybe I should have Turundered the drive there. Oh well. Ow. That's okay. What's next? Koga... Yeah, this is okay, this is okay. What is Persona, actualize. actualize. Uh, okay. Hit him with it. Well, this seems to have worked out. We got kind of lucky, honestly. They just didn't hit our weaknesses, and we managed to, like, dodge some stuff, so... I don't know if I feel great about <laughs> just being able to skate on by with some good luck, but whatever. That's bad. Wow. Nice fucking crits, you piece of shit. <laughs> what a dickhead. Whatever. Just spend them. Hmm. That's not ideal, but... Whatever. Okay, let's be on something that's not weak to ice. Okay, we should be able to make it work from here, I think. It's gonna be a bit tough on our SP, but... I should also just do this, I think. I can't really afford to go for the big Ajilao, cause uh... Cause I'm weak to ice on Sati. Which, you know, might get me killed, which would be bad. So... Dying is bad. Try to avoid it. Alright. Yeah, you really just get shuffle times on this. Uh, drama card. Eh, all right, we'll get more, more persona. That was a bit of a long fight. Oh, hello. Shadow eliminated. Good work. No Seems like shadows with different affinities are banding together. They even brought their own support. They're working together as a team. Then things could get dicey. 
But I suppose this proves that teamwork significantly increases a group's combat power. Well, I mean, do we need to prove that? Like, seems obvious, so... That said, we'll be counting on you, leader. It looks as though you defeated all the shadows in this area. All we have to do now is open that treasure chest. Let's do it. Yeah. Give it. Oh, hello. That was quite the trip, but we found a sim familiar sight beyond that imposing enemy. It seems rather secure. Can you get it open? Hmm? This treasure chest isn't locked. Huh? You can open it as it is. Open it as is? This is suspicious. We are in a rather irregular area. I wonder if that's a special feature of the place. I'm not detecting any danger, so please check what's inside. Temperance Tarot. Oh. Huh. I got a tarot card, but we didn't... Oh. Ah, right. As Temperance is uh, numbered higher than, than 12, so... There is no Temperance Big Shadow in the game. So I guess we can still get these uh, tarot cards in our Major Arcana pool without, um, without having to, you know, fight a relevant boss for it. So that's the Book of Samech. I don't know what that is. It seems the Temperance Major Arcana can now appear during shuffle time. Temperance. Uh, next time you do a daily activity, your academic's courage and charm will increase more than usual for that day. Well, that's... Uh... Probably not relevant at this point, but cool. <laughs> By acquiring the Book of Samech, uh, the number of Major Arcana cards attainable in a day increased by one. Oh, alright. A tarot card? It's some of the ones you already have, Leader. It was also reacting to the entrance, so there may be some connection there. It's possible that other doors elsewhere would react to that card as well. Uh -huh. It looks like a dead end. Do you want to head back right away? Uh, yeah, I guess. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to worry about, so... Alright, well, took care of that. Let's go report into Liz. Well done on fulfilling my request. The Monad Passage you explored seems to be slightly different from the usual doors you've encountered. While they may both house strong shadows, the passage seems to lead deeper into the depths, thus harboring even more powerful shadows. Deeper into the depths is definitely tautology, right? But the rewards you reap are far greater. By defeating all the shadows within the passage, you will gain a new major arcana, which in turn will aid your growth. I won't force you to undertake this task, but I do hope you continue to challenge these passages whenever you can. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room are always pleased to bear witness to your growth. That will also bring me one step closer to fulfilling my true desire. Oh, my apologies. I didn't intend to take up so much of your time babbling. Please take this as your reward. I got us a ward. Great. Most excellent. And I got some water for killing a lot of shadows. What's the next milestone? 600, hey? Well, then. You need anything else? Nope. That's okay. Let's just run up to the top of Tartarus quickly. Or top of this, you know, chunk. Get to the border floor, as they're calling it. Uh, I think it might be just up here, or close enough to it. Oh, I can- I don't need to run. I can just teleport. This is... And here we are. A dead end. Looks like we can't progress any further for now. On the other hand, we've made headway. Nicely done. Or made good headway. Come back whenever you're ready. It's your call to make. Yes, give me the document. Hooray. The head researcher came to try and convince me. I was surprised. He was my old mentor. Whenever I remember his timid smile, my resolve wavers. And yeah, we can't go this way. Um, we can't go any further than this. Looks like we'll just waiting. have to wait. It's frustrating, but good things come with waiting, as they say. Holy shit, I fucking did it. Ugh. Finally. Finally. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna turn good. this in. Here are my requests. Most excellent. But right, just money. I'll take it. What am I doing on money well. anyway? 62. Wow, I actually didn't get much that whole Tartarus trip that I. Well, I've got shit to sell, so. I'll be fine on that front. I guess Moon might be relevant. I'll just have to fill in the gaps with, um. Uh, yeah. I, I, I still didn't end up with a lot of personas to, you know, do much with here, but, uh. 
Maybe it's because I was skipping fights so much, I don't know. Uh, if I have specific needs as far as next full moon goes, or as far as uh, matching with hangout people and stuff, I'll just have to buy shit. That's okay. Alright, I'm out. Fuck this. Get me out. Ugh. Ugh, I'm free. <laughs> Uh. All right, today's the day. Track and today is the track and field competition. It's about time to leave. Attention! The time is upon us to demonstrate outstanding sportsmanship. May the best runner win. Hey, you're almost up. How are you feeling? Think you got this? Oh god, yesterday was so awful. Uh, <laughs> I can imagine how fucking tired he should be right now. Holy shit. Um. Uh, don't forget to cheer me on. You got it. Leave the cheering to me. Oh yeah. Here, take this. It should help get you energized for the race. Special drink. Since this is your first big event, let me give you some advice. But presumably we're not about to drink that because we actually got added to our inventory, so we're just gonna hang on to it, never mind. All you have to do is give it your all. Cool, thanks for the advice. Remember, mind over matter, and the biggest enemy out there is yourself. Alright, well okay. I'm just all right, dude. I'm just gonna go run around a thing. Go show them what you're made of. Amazing! I can't believe it's your first time competing. On top of that, this was your fastest time yet. Man, you killed it! Looks like all your hard work paid off. Hooray. Still a bummer though. Even with your incredible performance, that guy still won. Oh, okay, we didn't win. Never mind. You mean Hayase, right? They say he blows everyone out of the water in every competition. I thought people were exaggerating. Jeez, he's insane. Sure, use someone like him on our team. Ah, damn it! We'll get him next time for sure. Hey, wait. Isn't that him? Oh no, he's coming this way. Oh, you're pretty fast. Uh, I've been training. Must have been some training. Hey, I know this is weird all of a sudden, but would you want to hang out sometime? <laughs> it's just, yeah, uh. Sure, I don't mind. Cool, sounds good. <laughs> what a weird fucking interaction. You still need to work on your technique, but I feel like you've got potential. Oh, I thought you said you wanted to hang out, not teach me. Maybe you could help push me to test my limits. Hmm. I usually grab a bite to eat at the strip mall in Iwatodai after school. Stop by sometime if you feel like it. The name's Mamoru Hayase. Well. I'll see you around. Okay, bye. Wow, Hayase must really see you as a worthy rival. <laughs> you see him again? Tell him this. Next time I'll kick your ass! Damn, alright. You got that? <laughs> Calm down, Kaz. <laughs> By the way, wasn't that Mimora guy from Third High supposed to be pretty good too? He never showed. Huh? Oh, what the fuck is this? Uh, this name isn't doesn't feel familiar. Yeah, I was talking to some of the guys from his school. Apparently, they couldn't get a hold of him. They even went out to check his house, but he wasn't there. Oh fuck! He's in Tartarus, isn't he? No! <laughs> no! No! God damn it! Ah! I just escaped. I waited so long. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> oh, it was the next day. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. 
So he's gonna Maybe he was afraid of going up against Hayase. Oh my god, I'm so upset. Oh wait, do you think it's because of that apathy syndrome? Uh, huh, huh. No idea. If he shows up again soon in One Piece. <sighs> I can't believe they just fucking did that to me. Anyway, uh, now's not the time to get down in the dumps. Our school did great today, after all. Good job out there. I, I... Let's get out of here. Uh, I, I feel nothing. I decided to head back with my teammates. Oh, fuck me. Fucking shit. Whatever, I mean, it doesn't matter that much. It's just one evening. Oh, it's you. But like, <laughs> I delayed it so long with the intent of, uh, I just, I, it was the day, the fucking day that I decided it, it was so long. Oh, God. I heard from Akihiko that you did well in the competition. Eh, it's no big deal. No. Regardless, I'm impressed with your ability to balance so many aspects of your life successfully. Huh. Yeah, Yonka, that's amazing! You should give yourself some more credit. If nothing else, you're at least doing something, unlike someone else I know. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, sticks and bones can break my... Uh, whatever. Anyways, it's the full moon, right? That's something I can do. Uh, the mission, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, next full moon's August 6th, and that's Thursday. It's likely that the enemy will be stronger than the last ones. Make sure you're ready. Winning tournaments is cool and all, yeah, but now it's time for the real battle. And for us, losing ain't an option. Get ready for some action. Good to see you. I heard you're done with the competition, Yonkun. You must be tired, right? Maybe we shouldn't go to Tartarus then? Go get some rest. Excellent. Mastery of both academic obligations and combat is no mean feat. And yet, you continue to deliver. Keep up the good work. Placing in the top rank of a club that you just started. Well done. Wish we could take on some full moon shadows while you're still in the zone. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 24, The Giant Robot March. Icarus, Garuda, combine! And on to today's news. More apathy syndrome victims succumb to heatstroke today. Jimpei should really join a school club or something? He looks so bored every day. He would probably have fun on some sports team. He always has so much energy after all. Do we not have like a baseball team? I, uh, <laughs> he seems like into that, you know what I mean? <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Alright. Oh, what? The Taiyaki is in here. I forgot I put it in here. When did I do that? Ah, whatever. There's something with a sticky note on it next to the Taiyaki. To Yonkun, for all your hard work on your club activities, Yukari. It's from Yukari. Oh, gladly accept it. She gave me a Umugi water. Ah, oh, okay. Whatever, I guess. That was thoughtful of her, I suppose. I guess wants to go fuck around with the plants, but I don't think I care. Uh, actually, hmm. Well, I can decide that later. I'm gonna wrap the episode up for now. Oh, well, am I four days away? Eh, yeah, I guess. All right, tomorrow's, uh, whatever. Next episode probably is going to be a long one, and I think I'll do the whole thing uninterrupted, because I, I don't want to break up the full moon events, but the next three days are not going to be an episode's worth of stuff, so. But I feel like uh, I, I need to call it here, because well, I'm trying to, like, exercise some kind of discipline, especially after yesterday. Fuck. Full, uh, full moon coming up. We've got an operation on the horizon, and uh, the team's looking raring, like a raring to go, you know? So, uh, gonna be a time. What is the next one, actually? Am I sure to remember? Oh, right. I got it. Well, it actually might not be that long. I uh, got that to look forward to. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a time. It's gonna be some plot stuff. Uh, things will actually fucking happen in that episode. That's cool. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you then.